This is the garden moth trap. It's basically a big box with a couple of, uh, in this case, actinic tubes on the top. You can get them with even brighter lights, but they tend to annoy the neighbours a little bit too much for around here. Uh, in the box, down at the bottom here, we've got a whole load of egg boxes and that sort of thing at night, so the moths are attracted to the light, come in, fall down to the bottom of the box, find a nice egg box to curl up in and go to sleep. Then you come out first thing in the morning, go through the egg boxes, record what we've got, which is a middling sort of night. We've got a little bit over uh, 15 species there. But we've also got a lot of things in there that aren't moths. So we get caddisflies, you get beetles, we've actually got wood lice in there, there's quite a lot of slugs last night, not necessarily attracted to light. But uh, it's a really good way of sampling what's around in your garden when you're not out in it. And we got a really nice one this morning, this is the lime hawk moth, minus tillier. You'd expect to find them around here, we've got Malvern Common just down the hill, there are an awful lot of lime trees about. Unsurprisingly, that's what this eats as a caterpillar. Uh, they get to about that long as a caterpillar. A great big blue horn on the back and a little yellow brush underneath that. They're quite spectacular. And then they come out in April and May as these uh, attractive little green moths. You can see it's a good two or three inches across. It's a decent sort of size for a British moth and quite um, patterned, quite interesting little moth there. I'm going to put him deep in the wisteria 